So after hours of trying to fix how to delete the other storage on my MacBook, I've actually realized the only option is to use this uh, the op option that I'm gonna share with you later on. Actually, I'm gonna share with you in a couple of minutes, but just want to let you know there is, you, you can, you know, really clean your MacBook, but not really delete your other storage the way a lot of you might want to. So you can, of course, uh, sh remove some uh, some part of it. So let's say we go to general here and then we go to storage. And then here, as you can see, I actually removed because it was like super close to, to the last, um, Actually, it was actually really, really full, but now it's really available. As you can see, I have more storage available and I've tried multiple methods. Now, of course, look here, the storage system data, it's only 30 gigabytes right now, but, and also I have more uh, storage free available, way more than before. And I'm gonna share with you a couple of methods I've, uh, I've, I've tried. First method, I've actually went here to applications I look for the applications they are um, taking the more sp the most space the most and here in this case it was like not the ones that i'm using right now I used to have adobe creative program with all of the apps that i didn't use consistently and it all it wasn't that all the only problem the only problem was that if you actually just clean your cache the files related to the application you can click on here and see the larger files. So there was actually a fun files related to Adobe After Effects, taking a lot of space. And I just pretty much just selected those and click on Showing Finder. You can click on Showing to see exactly where they are located. You can click on your application, applications, maybe you remove some of the applications. And also if you remove some of the applications, make sure you use the App Cleaner. If you remove the App Cleaner, let's say I would like to remove an app, so I'm just going to demonstrate to you right now. Let's say I like to remove which one, uh, just to demonstrate this one. Okay, I'm going to drag this here, and now as you can see, it removes a lot of the files. So if you want to remove an app, make sure you use the app cleaner, in my opinion, can really help. And now here, to clean the app, just click on delete, but as I said, you can see exactly here where is located this file. So you don't have to do it from here. You can also go in your here and then, you know, just open Finder. Just open Finder and see exactly where is this located. Well, it's located here. So again, I can go here. I can go then in Virtual Machine. I can see this file here that's taking a lot of space. You can also right click here, get info. And uh, here you can see how much this is taking. Here we also have some options. So we can get info on how much spice, spice, uh, space this is taking. And then you can move to trash. So yeah, look through all the files here and then delete those. You can also delete uh, files related to your your trash of course we can delete this right now we can click on empty trash and uh, this can really help a lot of course to remove your trash also maybe you have a mac os and here you have some files related to your mac os that you can clean as well so yeah my suggestion is to actually look through all the apps that you have and remove through all your documents. It's going to take some time if you don't want to use a third party app, which you don't want to. You don't have to pay for a third party app. Just look through your document applications to clean. And if that didn't work, now the next uh, method. And now what you have to do is just to go to click on here and then go to settings and now let's gonna click on general and then here in general we're gonna have to click on time machine here just insert your usb your 
it's good to have actually um, <clears throat> a storage capacity with lots of like one terabyte too if you want uh, your storage is one terabyte make sure you have a uh, storage with two terabytes and uh, just yeah just plug your usb or thunderbolt drive then you go here and you add this so you can actually back up your information and then you're going to have to reset your macbook and that's what i did in order to reset in order to remove all the files here completely really really completely and then you click on transfer reset then you click on all content and settings and then you also can uh, open you did use this if you have a separate macbook or imac so yeah i hope you found this helpful if you have more questions leave your questions down below thanks for watching and take care